Kevin Dark. This is my uh, clock, the Grand Complication. It's a uh, skeleton clock with seven complications that all do different things. So you have a, a second counter there. Uh, that shows the time of day. Uh, that shows the time of week. That is a, a lunar calendar. And then in the back here you have a chime, which chimes the number of hours it is at the, uh, at the top of every hour. And uh, it also rewinds itself automatically. Okay. So it can run for hours and hours and hours without ever stopping. Yeah, so there's a lot going on here. What inspired you to start on a build like this that's complicated and has all this stuff moving? Uh, I mean, the only way you can actually build something like this is just start off simply simple and then slowly work your way out. So it started off with just the legs and the frame, and then three months later you ended up with this. And is this based on any type of real clock, or did you just kind of make this up as you went along? I just made it up as I went along. Okay. Fascinating. What's the, the most difficult part about putting together something like this? Obviously you've got a lot of moving parts and stuff and figuring out how that all works together. Uh, the most difficult part is when you finish something and then move on to the next thing. That, that tends to have some, cause some sort of problem with the things you've already built. So every step you make kind of takes a half step back and you got to go and re-engineer everything and make sure it all works again. And what do you have in there as like engines or what's what's kind of driving the whole thing? Um, quarters. Okay. Just there's just it's all weight driven. Um, when they, the quarters get too low, then it trips a motor that rewinds itself. But it's entirely gravity fed. It's just a, a rewinder on it for a motor. That's all. Wow. Yeah, that's very impressive. So you've got a lot of gears and stuff in here. How how do those kind of work together? Was it difficult to find the right types of gears and stuff that you needed in Lego to, to build this? Um, yes, but that's, I mean, that's part of what makes it fun is you have that challenge. You know, people have been making clocks for a thousand years. It's, there's no really no challenge to it. So building it out of Lego with a very limited supply is what makes it fun. It's what makes it worth doing that you only have, you know, seven or eight gears to work with. So, I mean, that's, that's why I there's over a hundred gears in this. If this were an actual clock, it would be a few dozen because you could just get one big gear that's exactly what you need, whereas I have to use 12. <laughs> exactly. And how did you decide kind of the structure and the frame for it? It looks like it's kind of just a tech, technic kind of bare structure to hold it all up. Uh, yeah, actually most of the parts of it are from the, uh, the Lego bucket excava uh, excavator. Okay. But I just, um, I actually, I engineered these really cool looking legs. I spent hours on it and then I built the frame around it and it just looks stupid. So I just scrapped the legs and just put those on in about 20 minutes and it ended up being great. So sometimes you just have to go on the fly and it works out. And does it all stay together pretty well when you're moving it around, kind of taking it to a show like Brick Fair here and doesn't have many issues when you set it up? Uh, yeah, it, it actually went pretty smoothly. Um, it did get a little bit, I was more accurate at home when I brought it here. Some of the stuff got a little bit loose, which causes a little more friction. So it's a little less accurate now. But for the most part, yeah, it's, it's pretty sturdy. There's over 4,000 pieces in it, so it's, it's a pretty solid mass. Yeah. Well, that's very impressive. I think it's really great to see and watch all the different stuff move, so I appreciate you showing that to me. Thank you. Do you want to uh, see the chime work? Sure, yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm just gonna... The motor stops so you can hear it better. Yeah, very cool. So you got the actual chime incorporated yep. in there. Yep. I like that. Yeah, I, th I think it came together very nice. So once again, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much.